Hi, welcome back to ATP. Today's video, I want to show you around the Casa Myra South housing compound, which is in Naga, Philippines, about 25 kilometers south of Cebu. This is an amazing compound, a very inexpensive place to live. And if you're coming into the Philippines and specifically the Cebu area, you might consider taking a look at this facility. If you're on a week or two week vacation here with future plans of moving, it's worth your time to take a trip down Cebu Road South, stop in, take a look around. I think you'll be really amazed. I was so impressed at the price of the townhome that I'm going to show you. I was shocked living in Thailand, Pattaya for the last five years, I was paying between four, four hundred and fifty dollars, US dollars. This townhome that I have taken a lease on, I'm paying two hundred twenty-five dollars US, three bedroom, a bath and a half. I was shocked and excited, and that's why I would like to show you uh, this compound. Let's take a look around. As you can see, this is a gated community. The road going up into the compound, on the left side you will have townhomes as well as on the right side. Just around the curve going up the hill on the right you have a laundry facility, a little grocery store, and we'll show you more of that in a moment. Up on the upper tier, they are building more townhomes up there. That area is relatively new and still under construction. For those that may not have transportation, you can walk down to the gate here and then just outside the gate, you can pick up a trike that will take you where you need to go. Normally there's five to 10 trikes down here and just over the horizon, you can see through the bikes. That's the main road, Cebu South Road. Make a left, you're going into Cebu, 25 kilometers. Most all of the townhomes do have a spot off street to park. I've placed my bike in this one. Being inside, stairwell upstairs, immediately on your right. Stepping into the living area, this is a furnished unit. Some rentals are unfurnished. Going from the living room into the dining area. Back door, small backyard. Big enough, you can set up a clothes rack, dry your clothes, towels, what have you. In the kitchen area, you will find all units using LP gas, no electric fobs. And then on the lower unit level here is your half bath, toilet, sink. Looking back into the living area, some units do have a ceiling fan in the lower area. This one does not, hence the floor fan does circulate air really nice though. As you enter the front door, you do have a stairwell on your right, and we're gonna go up this one. These are more narrow than what I'm used to, so you would have to be careful. On the second floor of this townhome is three bedrooms, one full bath. At the end of the hallway is that full bath, sink, toilet, and a shower. What you'll find in the townhome is they have no water heater, so that might be an adjustment. Bedroom number three, good size. Owner has installed an air conditioning in this bedroom. Bedroom number two, also owner has installed an air conditioner, nice size. Little twin bed there. And then across the hall on the front side, street side of the house, the townhome, is the master bedroom. Now when we leased this facility, they only had a mattress on the floor. We opted to buy the bed and also we purchased this nice wardrobe so we have a place to put our things. Uh, but outside you do have a balcony, it's basically just a stand balcony. To hang your clothes, I've installed a hanging rod. In the distance, you can see the ocean, island of Bohol. Now you've seen the inside of the townhome. 
Let me show you the rest of the compound amenities. On site, you have a wash and dry store. Open seven days a week, they'll take care of your needs should you want somebody to do your laundry for you. Right next to the wash and dry, they do have an ATM on site. It's an RCBC ATM. And then down that hallway is the Casamira South office. Should you have questions about any bills or anything to do with the compound, that's where you would go and talk with their personnel. Next to Wash and Dry, they do have a grocer, one-stop shop. Have all your basic needs, canned goods, breads, ice creams, milks, things of that sort. Take care of your daily needs. More amenities at Casamira South include the clubhouse. As we approach, often they'll have activities here, specifically on Friday, Saturday nights. They'll have karaoke contest, video key contests, and this opens up into the swimming pool. Very nice. The water is always nice, comfortable temperature. Very nice small kiddie pool here. Going into a little deeper, and then the main pool gets into about six feet at its deepest. Very nice. As you can see on the horizon, that's the ocean. Bull Hall is in the distance. And this is the clubhouse. You can rent these facilities. Often they'll have weddings, other business meetings. Quiet in the daytime. This basketball court is very busy in the evenings. The Casamira South compound has leagues here and the Filipinos love their basketball. You can always come out in the evening and watch the guys and the women play the basketball. Nice little play area for the little ones. Nice jungle gym, dual swing set. Got some rockers for the little babies and a little teeter tot. Oh, you see little kids here having fun running around. Great place for the family. Swimming, basketball, children's events. This outdoor pavilion does offer a place to have get-togethers on the lower floor. The upper floor is a house of worship. Currently under construction, remodeling, uh, they will hold services here. If you like the information in this video, subscribe to ATP. Here in the near future, I'll be posting a video regarding the cost of living here in the Philippines, specifically utility bills, food bills, energy bills, medical bills, and the like. Stay with me. Hope you subscribe. Look forward to seeing you in the future. Have a great day.